So right there, uh, that red motor you're looking at is the Westerbeek diesel generator um, aboard this Maxim 4100 SCA. And today I'm just going to give a quick tutorial on how to fire that baby up so we can run on power when we're away from the dock. Uh, so that's the generator right there. sits in the engine room um, between these two Cummins diesels. And the starting procedure, I'm going to come up here to the switch panel. Um, you're you're going to see... Uh, the generator controls right up here on the top left. Um, the, the first thing you're going to want to do is run the blower. Make sure that's on. Um, I, I've been running it already for several minutes. Um, you're going to want to make sure that runs for 10 or 15 minutes before you go through with the startup. Um, on these diesel generators, uh, there's, a, there's a glow plug, uh, heating module. You want to make sure you run that for about 15 to 20 seconds um, but before the engine starts up. So, so you're, I'm going to hold this switch. Um, and then go ahead and push the start trigger upwards. And you can hear the generator fire up. On the left here, I can see my gauges for temperature, oil, and the voltage it's putting out. Now, once your generator is started, uh, you're gonna wanna let it run and warm up. So the temperature gauge needs to come up a little bit before you actually transfer power. Um, in order to transfer power, what you're gonna do is turn off the main dock side master switches here. And then you can slide the generator switch over and activate power to the generator. Once you do that, you can go through all your switches and activate all of your accessories um, while you're on generator power. That's pretty much all there is to it. Once you're ready to shut down, you're just gonna go back up here to the controls, hit stop. and your generator is going to turn off just like that. Um, once your power's off, you can go ahead and switch back to dockside power, um, plug your shore power cable in, and, and you're, you're back in business. You can see my power available lights are flickering. That means that I have a, an ample shore power connection to run all of my accessories, and I can continue to enjoy my stay here at the dock.